Hey guys, this is Ray, owner of DRP Motorsports. Welcome back to the shop, and today I thought I'd do a video showing you the difference between big shops, big time tuners versus small guys like me, and show you the difference that it can make for you when it comes to tuning your car. Now behind me, we just got through tuning a car for a customer. It's covered up because he didn't want the car, you know, shown in public, and that's another thing about us. We respect customer wishes and try to do everything to make them happy. But this particular car was a shining example of what happens when you deal with a big shop versus a little shop. So let me get the camera around and I'll show you what we're talking about. All right, guys, I'm going to just show you some Dynograph data here and talk about this car that's behind me. Um, this car came in, uh, was tuned uh, prior um, by a big name shop. This shop has a lot of stuff out on social media, has a lot of traction, does a lot of business. I'm not going to call any names because I don't believe in calling names and putting other businesses down, but it is quite all right for me to show you the difference between big shops and small shops. So that's what we're doing. So this car come in, tuned by a big shop. Uh, the customer had some um, cold start issues. Uh, had some drivability issues and just felt like that the car wasn't running to its peak potential um, based upon the modifications. I will say this car is a Roush Mustang. It is quite heavily modified um, versus a stock Roush setup and it requires a truly custom tune. So first thing we did when we brought the car in, the customer wanted me to dyno the car with the uh, tune that was uh, done by the bigger shop on my dyno and see how it did. So that's what I did. And that is the blue line there. So with the big name shop tune, it made a peak of 702 wheel horsepower, 697 foot pounds of torque. But if you look at the lines here, it just fell way off on top end. And uh, anyway, uh, to make a long story short, uh, being it was tuned by somebody else prior, I could not uh, data log all the parameters because the tune was locked and you can't data log it so much. But in the data log, I was able to see, you know, a few basic things and a couple of things stood out to me. First of all, the spark advance that this big shop put in the tune, which I could see spark advance, was a tremendous amount of spark advance down low. In my opinion, it was way too much down low, and on a heavily boosted car uh, with high compression, if you get that spark advance up too quick, you can, you know, hurt pistons being connecting rods. So uh, when we redid the tune, you can see our tune, which is the red line, the, uh, the torque and horsepower curve actually is about the same with much less spark advance. Um, actually, we made a little more torque than the other shop did, but... Um, spark advance has to be taken uh, seriously um, and you can see right here that turning the spark advance way up does not always necessarily yield more power even without spark uh, without knock this car didn't knock with the other with the big shop tune but it didn't make any more power with all that spark advance so that's one thing that stood out at me all this up top here though something big time was wrong and really couldn't see a whole lot in the data log, but um, what I did see was the DI fuel pressure was not present up top, okay? So, with some investigation, I decided to take the DI pump loose on this car and discovered that when I got down to it and I could see the uh, pull the cover off of it and I could see the mounting studs, one of the studs was broken and the pump was actually loose, so it wasn't, um, the cam couldn't, you know, properly actuate the DI pump, so it wasn't building DI pressure. So what does this have to do with a bigger shop versus a little shop? Well, the bigger shop data logged this car, just like I did, was even more capable of data logging more parameters because they tuned it and they could see more things. Well, guess what? They have looked at multiple data logs of this car. They've heard multiple complaints from this uh, customer, and yet none of them picked up on the fact that the DI pump wasn't putting out on this car. DI pressure was actually uh, a lift pump pressure under full load, and it's supposed to be, you know, up close to 3,000 PSI, and I'm only seeing about 65, 70 PSI on the DI system. So that's why it was falling off on top, and the uh, ECM recognized the problem, and was actually closing the throttle, okay? 
But this big time shop didn't pick up on that. But I did. Guys, lots of times, here's the deal. These bigger shops, which have, you know, very notable people, very capable people now. I'm not knocking these shops. I mean, the owners of these big shops know what they're doing in most cases. But when you get tuned by these big shops, you don't necessarily get tuned by the big name that owns that shop. You're, you, lots of times you're getting tuned by a junior person that works up under them, and they trust them to handle, you know, tunes and data logs accordingly. But this is what you get. You get somebody looking at your stuff that's not paying attention to everything. Now, obviously, it could have very easily been picked up that the DI system wasn't working properly on this car, but we did. That's the difference when you deal with somebody small like me. I'm the one that makes the tunes for DRP. I'm the one that looks at the data log. I'm a one-man show. I turn wrenches as well as tune cars. So I know the mechanical parts of things. I know what to look for is where some of these other places may not take the time and effort to do so. But I recognized there was a mechanical problem. I fixed it. Then I started tuning the car myself, and we ended up with 884 716 and you can see that the red lines look much more presentable and much more proper so here's the deal here's the bottom line of this video if you want to get a good custom tune for your car whether it's done in-house on a chassis dyno or remotely consider guys like me at drp motorsports because we will actually take the time to individually look at data logs look at the tune we have a mechanical understanding of how these cars work versus that some of these bigger shops may not put the time and effort to do. So as always, guys, thank you for following along. Hope this video is benefit for you guys as in, in anyone else in the future. God bless you. Have a great day, and we will see you again soon.